Okay, in this video, how about we talk about VS Code extensions or Visual Studio Code extensions. VS Code, as you may already know, is a highly popular code editor or IDE, depending on how you like to refer to it. And VS Code extensions are add-ons that enhance the functionality of VS Code. They can provide language support, debugging tools, themes, snippets, and much more, which means you can tailor the editor to suit your specific needs. Now, why do extensions matter? Well, extensions transform VS Code from a simple editor to a powerful, fully featured development environment. Whether you're working with JavaScript, Python, HTML, or any other coding language, there's an extension that can improve your workflow. Now, let's talk about the importance of using extensions in VS Code. First of all, they can boost productivity. They can automate repetitive tasks, provide intelligent code completion, and help manage your projects more efficiently. What's not to love about that? Also, customizability is a huge plus. They allow you to tailor VS Code to your preferences, from changing how the code looks, to integrating with other tools that you use daily. Lastly, ease of learning and debugging. For me, what's great about extensions is they can provide documentation, examples, and tools that simplify coding and debugging. And that's a huge part of the daily process of being a developer. Now, I'm going to move on and talk about my favorite three VS Code extensions that I think you should highly consider installing in your own VS Code environment. First up, it has to be prettier. This is a code formatter. It's an opinionated code formatter that enhances the consistent style across your entire code base. What happens here is that whenever you click save, it will automatically format your code. So you don't have to worry about inconsistent spaces, indentation, or line breaks. It works with JavaScript, TypeScript, CSS, HTML, and even more. So if you're a front-end developer, having Prettier set up in VS Code is a fantastic way to make sure that your code looks great. It also has integration with ESLint. It means it can seamlessly work with that linter to ensure that your code not only looks good, but it also adheres to best practices. Next up, I have to mention ESLint because I just touched on it. This is a static code analysis tool that will identify and fix problems in your JavaScript code. Many people using VS Code use JavaScript. JavaScript is everywhere. About 99% of websites right now are using some form of JavaScript. So if you're a JavaScript developer, having ESLint makes perfect sense. It's got error detection that will highlight syntax errors, potential bugs, and stylistic issues as you type, saving time and reducing errors. You also get customizable ESLint rules according to your project's coding standards, or you can use predefined configurations like Airbnb or Google style guides. It also works well with Prettier, which is my first choice, which gives you a smooth experience of writing clean and consistent code. Next up, I have to mention Git Lens. This is Git Supercharge. It's a powerful extension that supercharges the built-in Git capabilities of VS Code. We all use Git every day whenever we're coding, and having inline Git blame means that we can identify quickly who modified the line of code and why directly within the code editor. I think this is so helpful when you're working on a project with multiple developers. You also get history and diff views, provides a detailed history of changes, allowing you to easily view diffs, final line history, and branch comparisons. There's also enhanced code navigation, which makes it even easier to understand code history, making it much simpler to collaborate on projects and track down bugs. If you're using Git, which I'm sure you are, Git Lens makes perfect sense. Now, here's a bonus one. For me, something you should definitely be considering at this point in time is adding an AI coding system to VS Code. And one of the most popular choices, of course, is GitHub Copilot. I would highly, highly, highly encourage you giving this a try. It is well worth playing and seeing if it can enhance your daily coding workflow. If we're talking about extensions and we're talking about the future, AI is the way to go. And there is no better AI pair programmer right now in terms of general use cases than GitHub Copilot. You can write natural language comments and get entire code blocks generated, or it can offer some incredibly smart suggestions based upon what you're writing in your existing code base. So if you want an extra bonus feature, I would say for an extension, GitHub Copilot has to be on there as well. Now to wrap things up, I'll quickly cover how you would install and use extensions in VS Code. Now, installation steps are actually incredibly easy. You click on the extensions icon in the left-hand menu, search for any extension that you want, whether that's Prettier, ESLint, GitLens, or GitHub Copilot, and simply click install. After installation, some extensions may require configuration, but best bet is to check the documentation or the seconds menu, and then you can tell them to your workflow. But generally speaking, once you've clicked install, you are ready to go. And it makes it so easy to add extensions to VS Code. Of course, bear in mind, like any program, if you add too many things like these, too many add-ons, you might find that your coding experience VS Code may become more sluggish, more labored. So I always try to focus on extensions that I actually need and don't have lots of unnecessary extensions installed and activated at any one time. So maybe bear this in mind as well. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed this. These are just a few of the best VS Code extensions. Check out our article on hacker.io. We've got many, many more. We've got over 30 suggestions the best VS Code extension that you could be considering right now to enhance your experience within VS Code. Otherwise, please let me know what your favorites are. Maybe they differ to mine. I'd be really interested if there's anything new out there you think that we should be checking out. 
Thanks again, and I'll see you in the next video.